Stop fighting, guys! Okay, out of the Llama Lab today and into the countryside. Another beautiful summer's day here. Not quite summer, but close enough. Uh, there's been a firmware update for the DJI Neo drone. A little follow drone that's still behind me. And one of the line items in the firmware change logs, and god damn I love firmware change logs, was increased tracking speed. Now previously this little buddy behind me was limited to around 20 to 22 kilometers per hour when following on a bike. At this point in time, I have a, about a 20k an hour tailwind behind me. So that's gonna affect it. But I'm riding at, well, as you can see on screen, 24, 25 k's an hour, and it's tracking me just fine. Now, I have the Hover Air X1 Pro Max in my back pocket. I'll pull that out in just a minute as well. But right now I'm going to do a straight line speed test. And things are looking a lot better for the Neo. 28k an hour, 29. I'm going to go until I lose signal. There we go. No, we're still here, 30k an hour. Now we're talking 32k an hour. I can still hear it. I can still see it. 33, 34. Okay, this is phenomenally better. So much better. Okay, put the hammer down here up to 40. I don't expect it to be as good as the Hover air. There we go, and we're lost. Okay, I'll loop back. Mad skids. All right, there we go. Now, when this drone loses you, it stops and hovers in place, which is fantastic. You can see it looking for me now. It's, <laughs> it's doing this, looking for me. Hey, buddy. Hey, Neo. Hey, mate. Hey, over here. Almost got me, almost got me. Here we go, hello. How are we, good? All right, tailwind wise, mate, you were about, well, we'll look at the data at the end, but I think that was around 35 k's an hour with the tailwind. I will still need to do some still condition testing, but it's kind of hard to find a still wind out here at the moment, but so much better. All right, let's put it up against the Hover Air X1 Pro Max, which I also have in my pocket and we'll let them battle it out on this same stretch of road. All right, come back, buddy. You got a battery. Critically low battery warning. Oh, Critically good low job. battery warning. Well done, well done. Now, before getting into battle of the drones here, which was quite amusing this afternoon, that was confirmation in my previous tests that the DJI Neo follow speed in optimal conditions with a slight tailwind had a follow speed of around 35 kilometers per hour. My previous testing with around 18 kilometers per hour tailwind was only around that 20 to 23 kilometers before it gave up. So this new firmware is so much better. Anyhow, we have the DJI Neo now up against the Hover Air X1 Pro Max, both set to follow mode, one set to medium, one set to far. 28 k's an hour. Now while the DJI Neo is greatly improved, it's still no match for the much more expensive Hover Air X1 Pro Max as they battle for the same airspace. 82k an hour. There we go. Much better. There we go. Me talking to myself out there on the bike. Just before losing the DJI Neo, it sort of juts and jolts a bit to the side. Oh, I lost it. And yes, we lose it. All right, we lost one. Where are you, little buddy? Here, wait, for us. let's go get him. So no flyaway events, the DJI Neo hovers in place, and I was able to go back and find it. You can see the wind of the fields there. More of a crosswind now. Come on, buddy. There we go. Welcome back. All right, come on, guys. All right, as soon as it locks on, 
I didn't have to touch any of the We're controls. We're back. We're back. And don't fight each other. Play nice. Come on. Yes, they were fighting each other. Uh, the no, now the X one's gone. Mm -hmm. The DJI actually blasted. What did you do, Neo? What did you do? <laughs> you hurt his feelings. Come on, man. We are. All right, come on. Other than that one blip, I'd call it, uh, where the Neo happened to outsmart the... Uh, what were we, 32 k's an hour? Hover X1. Uh, the Hover X1 performed flawlessly. 25 now. Let's go, guys. Come on, come on. Oh, we tried and gave up again. The Neo, it's much better. Not perfect, though. All right, come on. We just got to get to the train track, all right? Stop fighting! Stop fighting! <laughs> Come on! So I'm actually having a watch through of this myself. I'm finding it quite amusing watching these two battle bots. Magnificent day on the bike, too. I think I said that in yesterday's video, too. Better. Come on. No. I missed it too. Oh, now, a hot again. tip. Definitely have a monitor on the bike. All right. If you're using follow drones. Some of the times you can't hear them. So the Hover Air has a little monitor itself. DJI, you can use the, uh, the app. With a quad lock or something similar. Hello. Welcome back, again! Crosswind. Stop fighting, guys! So while I'm using, that's about it for the testing of these two. I might need to put one a little lower. I did have them up a little high, in case a car was to come along. Got one last little section there. The Hover Air pretty much just stomps on the Neo and gets it out of the way and continues on. Okay, as I roll off the gravel onto the tarmac road here, my conclusion is that firmware is a lot better. But I will need some more testing. Uh, how much better by? Well, that's at least, what, 20Ks, 22Ks now, up to, what, 35? with a tailwind in that scenario just there on Powell's Road. That's a lot better, a lot better. So much so that uh, I think I will invest in the headset. Not that that's gonna help for the bike, but it definitely does look like a bit of fun. Uh, can I do this one-handed? Let's see. Yes, I can. Looks like a bit of fun uh, with the drone and how nimble it is in manual mode. But as everyone would hope to see, DJI have delivered the update. God, there's some flies around here. That improved the tracking speed. Keen to see some more tests from others. I'll be out with it as well. It didn't quite match the X1 Pro Max, as you saw on that road when they were doing battle. All right, that's pretty much all I've got to say about today. I'm off to have a look at this footage. We'll hop into these parts, the stats and uh we'll leave it there all right that's it for today thanks for watching this one something out on the bike and not at the desk days like this hopefully there's a lot more of those to come all right thanks for watching